My name's Dudok here. Welcome back to some more low rated duelists. So we got Fox Gaming here at 98. And we also got the Fern and Flu. Oh god. Don't don't catch the Fern and Flu, guys. You'll get sick. It's a very rapidly spreading virus all over the United States and Europe. Do not catch that painful Fern and Flu, or else you'll be in the hospital for months. No joke on that one, guys. Anyway, he has a 60-card deck with 4 in the extra deck. Did not know you can normal summon in the standby phase. Dang. He's going to be summoning that Arm Dragon level 3 during the standby phase, and then he's going to attribute it to summon the Arm Dragon level 5. Best play ever, guys. Best play ever. Anyway, Fern and Flu is going to be playing, or summoning the Battery Man 9 Volt. Battery Man hasn't been seeing that much play in a long time, so that should be interesting, I guess. Only four in the extra deck, though, but Battery Man, they don't, they don't really need an extra deck. So I wonder what he's going to search. Maybe the Fuel Charger, or... I really don't remember their names. I remember the artwork. I don't remember the names, though. So he's going to add another 9-volt with the 9-volt. I believe that is a legal play. Yeah, that is a legal play. And during the end phase, the 9-volt will get destroyed. So, destroy! Yep, it does have 2,000 attack, but it doesn't matter. Ooh, he's going to be activating this. Okay, then. The equipped to monster gain 500 attack, and they cannot change their battle position. Okay, then, but what's the point? It's just going to die. <laughs> oh, well, just so it can die. <laughs> and it's not going to die. Come on, man, die. Die. So it doesn't die? Why doesn't it die? <laughs> Nine volt dies. Come on, guys. No pun intended right there. No pun intended. But seriously, I'm not reading this wrong. During the end phase, destroy this card. Right there. You don't... <laughs> what is it with low rated duelists reading what they want to read? They don't want to read the effect that does bad for them. They only want to read the good effect. This doesn't protect its destruction, right? So why is this 9 volt still here? The 9 volt dies. <laughs> oh my god. So anyway, Fox Gaming is going to be setting a monster. He set the Golem Dragon. And the Fern and Flu just devoured that. It's going to be activating the Ignite Gallant. So if he has another Ignite card in his Pendulum Zone, he can kill them both and add himself another Ignite. So I did not see this one coming. He's going to be playing that and then proceeding by doing nothing. And here is the Rippling Mirror for us. Oh, this is an OCG duel. This card is not out yet in the TCG. It's going to be coming out in the next booster set in March. And why is that set monster going to the deck? Shuffle all face up attack position. So set, set equals attack position. <laughs> set equals attack position. In 2016. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> You've seen it yourself, guys. Set monsters equal attack position. Studo, click this link. I'm not gonna click that FBI, it's a link to a virus, and we all know it. I'm not gonna click it. And no, I'm not gonna give you any freaking pizza. Wow, so set monsters equal attack position in 2016. Unbelievable. So Fox Gaming is right back into this duel, he's gonna be summoning the Lancer Dragonute, and here is the guard penalty activated. Select a monster on the field. If the selected monster happens to be changed to defense position this turn... <laughs> That's not what guard penalty does! That's the second time we've seen low rated duelists mess up this freaking card! That's not what guard penalty does! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my freaking god! It's not what it does! Oh my god. I know, that card would be so good if it worked that way. <laughs> oh my god. Infinity took pizza as its succeed material. Oh man. It's so sad. And MLB, remember to go to MLB.com to catch your baseball action. <laughs> so, this following Low Rated Duelist is apparently brought to you by the MLB thing. Not MLG, MLB, guys. Get it right. Thank you, FBI. We're already at seven watchers. And the flu is going to be summoning the 9 volt, and that gets met with a mirror force. So, thankfully, the Lancer Dragonute won't be dying today. He survives another turn here on Low Rated Duelist. 
that random Ignite Galen is just doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> and now Fox Gaming is going to switch that to attack mode and attack directly for 1,500 points of damage. And this will bring the flu. Oh no, we got the... What the heck is this? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Did you see that? It was just sitting there on its side for like 10 seconds. <laughs> the freaking magic cylinder was sitting on its side for 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, that MLG lag. So that was pretty funny. So this would bring Fox Gaming down to 6,400. As he lost 1,500 and 100 a couple turns before that. So it's back to Fox Gaming's turn. He has six cards to work with. Let's see what he's going to be doing here. Still anyone's game. It's going to be the power of the 40 card deck with only two in the extra deck versus that MLG 60 card deck. Because 60 card decks are just so pro these days. Here is the Red Eyes B chick. So we'll be able to tribute this to Special Summon a Red Eyes Black Dragon from his hand. It's basically the Kaiba Man version of Blue Eyes. So there it is! The Red Eyes Black Dragon! You've seen it yourself, guys! Fox Gaming's gonna go straight into battle phase and attempt to attack over that set monster. Ooh, he's going greedy. He's gonna attack with... Oh! He had a good game plan. He's gonna attack with the weaker monster and attempt to get in for 2400, but unfortunately, those Mirror Force is putting in so much work. The Rippling Mirror Force and the regular old Mirror Force. He's probably gonna bring Fern and Flu to his first win of the format. Here is his third and final Battery Man 9 Volt. He's too pro to use the effect. <laughs> so I guess it's not Battery Man, he's just playing random 9 Volt just for the lulls, I guess. And where's your tuner? Uh, no tuner. <laughs> <laughs> Where is... Oh, I spelled that wrong. Is your tuner. Where is your tuner, man? Come on, you need your tuner. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. So, he caught himself on that play. He finally realized he caught himself. So, thank you, Fern and Flu, for not doing that cheat. Unfortunately, the 9 volts only had a 1,000 attack here. For some random reason, he didn't use the effect or he doesn't have targets. So he's just playing three random 9 volts for no reason. Because it's, it's just cool like that, guys. I guess he just likes the artwork. I mean, that is some pretty decent artwork. A lot of the battery man, they don't have that good of artwork. But 9 volt, that is some pretty nice artwork. Anyway, Fox Gaming is going to be summoning the Axe Dragonut. I know we've seen a card similar to this summon beforehand, but I don't believe it was the same card. And if it was the same card, it was a different artwork. It's going to be attacking into the 9 volt, and then Fernan will lose 1,000, and then this will get switched to defense mode after he attacks. Okay then. So Ignite Gallant is just sitting here on the field doing absolutely nothing. That's the second time in two weeks we've seen low rated duelists play random pendulums, one random pendulum, and then it sits there for a 10 to 20 minutes doing nothing. We saw that, I believe, two Tuesdays ago with the Trump Witch, the Perform Upheld Trump Witch. He just played that turn one. It sat on the field during the entire duel. He didn't play any other pendulums, and it did absolutely nothing. Like, what? <laughs> so stupid. And now Fox Gaming is going to attack into the powerful Aria, the Water Charmer. Okay, then. So I heard you like Charmers, guys. And when it's flipped, you can target a water monster. Your opponent controls and take control of it. Well, this card is on the field. Unfortunately, this is not a water monster. Now, Fern and Flu is going to be flip summoning the Arona Jar. Oh! You smell that, guys? You smell that? That's the smell of the Aroma Jar. And dang, does it smell bad. Oh, my God. It smell like just... Ah, uh, just terrible. Just terrible. But, man, there it is. The Aroma Jar He's going to flip some of that in face up defense mode. Again, did not know you could flip some of in defense mode, but who cares? Yeah. Cannot be destroyed by battle while it is face up on the field. And here it is. I believe this was the other card. The Lancer Dragonoot. So, two different Dragonoots on the field at the same time. Don't see this every day. For some reason, Fox Gaming's not going to switch his axe to attack mode. But it doesn't really matter as he gets past the Unihorn Familiar. Or whatever the frick this is. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck am I watching, guys? Judge, Judge. So let's see what these guys are talking about here. Oh, we got a lot of our number one fans. We got SRN 347, who is in two different dog stew duels. We got Malefic D, FBI 1996. A great, great day in history. Pyro Silo. So a lot of our big, 
Friday's episode of Low Rated Duelist. For some reason, Tuesday, none of our number one fans were there. We had some of our good number two fans, but none of our number one fans, so it's good to have these guys back here. So anyway, he top decks right into his limited Neo Spaceman Grand Mole. This is still limited on the TCG band list for some reason. And he's going to attack right into the Lancer Dragonute, and both of those guys will go back to the hand, and then Fernand's just going to end his turn. So a very anticlimactic play. And Fox Gaming's probably going to get this win, as I don't believe... Fernand's gonna do anything with if that's his game plan just to summon the Neo Spaceman Grandma, that's not gonna get you a win or do anything. Because Fox Gaming still has the board presence, but I believe this Roma Jar is protecting him, because it cannot be destroyed by battle while this card is face up on the field. And during each player's end phase, you gain five hundred life points. Okay then. So Fernand Flu is gaining a whole bunch of life points, I believe, here. With the Aroma Jar, dang. Never seen this card used ever in low rated duels, and the first time we do see it used, it's actually putting in some work. Yeah, I do believe that is exactly what it does. For some reason, I believe it's too good to be true. Because why are people playing Aroma Jar and not. Like, why would you play Marshmallow and not Aroma Jar? It just seems too good to be true. Because you gain that MLG life points, but whatevs. Back to Fernand's turn. He has seven cards to work with. Again, that random Ignite Gallant still sitting here for 11 straight minutes doing absolutely nothing. Now, Fernand's going to be summoning the Neo Spaceman Grand Mole and then setting before he goes into the battle phase. What if that was a malevolent catastrophe? You would be face palming so hard. That's why you don't ever set until main phase two, most likely. Unless you're trying to play around a Mind Crush, if Mind Crush is a popular card used in the meta. But still, what if that was a malevolent catastrophe? You would have lost that set that you easily could have kept in your hand. But you just had to set it during main phase 2. Or main phase 1, rather. You just had to. So now Fox Gaming is going to be re-summoning the Axe Dragonute. And this does piercing, apparently. Oh, yes, it does. So that piercing might bring Fox Gaming to his first win of the format. Because right now, Furman is just not doing anything. Like, again, that Neo Spaceman Grammel is just not going to put in the work here. So you better have a better game plan than that. So let's see, Furman. You now have quite a bit of cards to work with. Five in your hand. And he's going to be summoning another monster other than the Grand Mole. He's going to go for the familiar possessed Dark. <laughs> okay, then. And I believe this doesn't really do anything other than have the uh, 1850 beater. He attacks right into a draining shield. So this will bring Fox Gaming's life points up to... 72.50. So that MLG Draining Shield puts in the work. One of the number one cards Low Rated Duelists love to play it was on was on the original episode of the Top 10 Cards LRDs love to play. And is still here, plenty of months later, being used. <laughs> so the X Dragon Nude's now going to attack into the Possessed Dragon. Or not the Possessed Dragon. I know it's a Spellcaster. I don't know why I thought it was a Dragon. Oh, there's a Dragon in the background, but I don't think that is the monster that it's being. I don't know. So he'll lose that. He'll gain 500 during the end phase, but unfortunately he'll still lose 1100 from this Dragon Oot's piercing. So, sad day for Furnin. It's a sad day to have the Furman Flu, and it's a sad day for Furman Flu to lose. Now he's going to be banishing a water to do something here, I guess? I don't know why you're banishing this. Is it to, like, summon something in your hand, maybe? Or not, he's going to be banishing it. What effect are you activating, man? What effect are you activating? He's going to be banishing the Water Charmer, and then... Or maybe it's this guy's effect. Yeah, it's probably this guy's effect. So... I don't know. I'm just going to take his word for it. I'm not in the mood to read that, but I'm just going to take the Furman Flu's word for it. He's going to be banishing that, and then he's going to special summon a monster from his deck, and now he's going to go for a tribute summon here. And this is the Bird of Paradise Lost. And unfortunately, that gets met with a bottomless trap hole. And I don't believe it... No, it doesn't survive destruction. It's like, maybe it survived destruction, but... There's nowhere on that card text that said it says it does. It gets banished, not 
How is that GG? It's not game yet. Maybe it's just saying GG to, to say GG. <laughs> I've seen people in DNC G GG after the Rock, Paper, Scissors. It's like, Rock, Paper, Scissors? Oh, that was a good game. And then the one guy's like, what? What do you mean good game? It just started. And he's like, nah, nah, a good game of Rock, Paper, Scissors, man. It's like, yeah, th th that actually was a good game of Rock, Paper, Scissors. I had a fun time doing that. <laughs> so now Fern and Flu is going to lose a lot of life points here. He brings him down to 2050. Not the year 2050, 2050. Hey, SRN's here. <laughs> yup, yup, he is. And now Furman's going to be activating the Lightning Vortex here to discard that to just clear the board. The Yangzing Master, the Teledead. <laughs> what do you mean the Teledead Master? He beat me once. What about me? I beat him in the first one just because he beat him or beat me in the most recent one doesn't make him the master. He was lucky. I'm not gonna lie. SR Run was so freaking lucky in that most recent Dog Stew duel. How, how does that make him the master? Being lucky and beating Stewie in one random match. Like, really? Or should I say Dog Stew? Because Dog Stew and Stewie are totally two different people, guys. It's not like I made a completely different account just to add more originality to my channel. They're totally two different people, guys. And he attacks right into the super heavy samurai blowtorch. What deck are you playing? Seriously, man. What deck are you playing? You started things off playing random battery man. Then you played the ignite gallant. And then some random charmers. And now we get to see super heavy samurais. What the heck deck is this? Can someone tell me what deck this is? Unbelievable. Someone going ham here. This is ham sandwich. Not the ham you eat on Thanksgiving and Christmas, no. A different type of ham. A much better ham. Anyway, Furman Flu is going to be setting a monster here. And it's back to Fox Gaming's turn. Not looking good for Furman. Just because this guy, guy does that MLG piercing. If this guy didn't do piercing, then... Wait, 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 no. He got rid of it somehow. Oh, he lightning vortexed. Oh my god, short-term memory loss, so... The dragon who did the piercing in this fortunately died for Fernan. And now here is the ancient dragon. And I don't know how it died. Maybe this guy's effect? The keeper of the shrine? I don't know. How did this die, guys? There's a lot of stuff. I don't know what's going on. But uh, whatever. We're almost at that 20 minute mark. Unfortunately, we're going to get two long, low rated duelists in a row. We had a very long episode last Tuesday. 38 minutes, my god. And I'm not going to lie, that did not feel like 38 minutes. Not at all. That felt maybe 25 minutes. But 38 minutes, when I was sitting down and recording that, did not feel that long. Not at all. So Fairman's going to be summoning that Grand Mole. And I believe he's going to Grand Mole loop him. Seriously, Fox Gaming, you need a Mirror Force or something to get past that Grand Mole if you want to win. And this freaking... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't even know what this does. Can this be destroyed my battle? I believe it can. God, I don't know. I'm so confused. Just someone needs to win this already. I thought you were going to win this soon. That's what you get for saying GG way too early. He said GG like five turns ago. And five turns later. <laughs> yeah, about that GG, eh? About that freaking GG. Still anyone's game. Now we see a random Lila normal summoned. Furman's going to use its effect to switch it to defense mode and kill a set spell or trap, I guess? I don't know why you're clicking on the monster. Furman, why are you clicking on the monster? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so it's going to be killing the back row towards the right. We do got to switch this to defense mode. So, come on, man. Switch it to defense mode. Any second now. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Okay, there you go. Gets rid of another draining shield. And for some reason, Lila just doesn't go to defense mode. Okay, then. <laughs> you don't have to switch Lila to defense mode, I guess. Dang, that new errata. You only see this stuff on low rated duelist, guys. Fernin's gonna go into end phase in middle three, most likely. And there goes bye bye to another aroma jar, a super heavy samurai pendulum, and a brotherhood. What? 
Yeah, it's just everything he likes just thrown into one random 60 card deck. Seriously, random fire fist, random light swords, ran random super heavy samurais, random ignites. Like, what the frick is this? Now, Furman's gonna tribute both his monsters here to normal summon. The oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm laughing too hard, guys. I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> Here's the Dark Mirror Force. <laughs> what is this? You're making me laugh too hard that I'm dying here. I'm dying on camera. Stew Dog dying on camera. <laughs> so when opponent's monster declares and tech banish all defense position monsters your opponent controls. So he's able to banish this. This should be banished, but... What is this? UAs? What deck is this? What the heck is this? Oh my god. When a card says banish, LRG send it to grave. That should be a meme, Malefic D. He just made a new meme. When a card says sent to grave, LRG's banished from grave. <laughs> yup. That is one true statement right there, Malefic D. That is one true freaking statement. So, again... He's going to be attacking directly for 2,500. This will bring Fox Gaming down to 40, 50. Both these guys got 50 life points. Just random 50s. And like 10 turns ago, Furman said GG as if he was going to lose. And now he's in a winning position. That's why you don't see G say GG early on. You say GG after the duel is over. Come on, guys. First grade, SpongeBob. First grade. And it's back to Furman's turn, so he'll be able to attack directly for another 2,500. And, oh no, he's going to summon Grandmal as well. A Torrential Tribute would put in a lot of work right about now. No, he's going to take it back, okay? <laughs> so, I guess it was a misclick. And here's another 2,500 to the face. And, oh no, a hero emerges. This card is very, very bad, so now Furman will be able to click on a random card in Fox Gaming's hand. And if it happens to be a hero you can special summon it and if it's not a hero you send it to the grave so it's a free neg two if you pick a wrong card and is a free neg one nonetheless so let's see Furman is going to be picking the card all the way towards the right and there is the armed dragon level seven unfortunately that is not a hero so you will not be able to special summon it so it goes to the grave fox gaming what are you doing putting this on the field to put it to the grave come on man Come on, that is not a hero. Oh, if it's a monster. Oh. Well, excuse my French, then. I thought this had to be a hero. Wow, I never knew that. I thought this was a elemental hero card. And now we see a random Ignite equipped played. Equipped to a warrior type monster. Okay, so this is a warrior, so that's a illegal play. He'll be able to burn for 500, maybe? It loses 500 attack, and if it does destroy a monster? Oh my god, so much reading. I I'm not going to read that, sorry. Normal night cards are all novels, and I'm not in the mood to read novels. <laughs> well, I never knew that a hero emerges had to be a monster. I thought it had to be a hero. Well, okay then, I guess it's not that bad. <laughs> Still a neg one nonetheless, like I said before. Now Fox Gaming is going to be using the effect of the Arm Dragon level 7. Send a monster from his hand to the graveyard to destroy all face up monsters your opponent controls with less attack than the sent monster. Oh, that ought to hurt. Dang, this might be game, guys. This might be game, and. Yep, that is game. Wow. So, a dramatic ending here. I thought Furman was going to come back and win that, but in the end. Fox Gaming ends up victorious, and he'll get his first win in the format. Wonder how much rating he'll pick up. And not the end of the world. Only a 25-minute low rated duel. So again, not the end of the world. <laughs> Big shout-out to all these watchers here. Too clutch! Too clutch! Fox Gaming wins! He picks up 32 points for winning that. And his first experience ever on Dueling Network. So, awesome. And again, big shout out to all 15 of these watchers, FBI1996, Malefic D, Malefic Koi, thank you all for staying here. That's all I got to say about this video, guys. So until next Tuesday when we have some more, this is Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.